good not quite morning guys it is 1 17. i know i've mentioned it in vlogs in the past i usually don't start recording until after Devin leaves because in the morning that's usually the only time we get to spend together during the week um the three of us so i don't film until then <laughs> but anyways it is 1 15 ish um december 4th today's wednesday is it wednesday yes it's wednesday Oh gosh, I got stuff everywhere. It seems like I clean all the time and then I turned around and everything's just messy again. <laughs> but, um, I don't have a whole lot to vlog today. I don't think. Not yet. I got to, I got some mail I'm going to show you guys in just a minute. And then I'm going to probably spend most of the day cleaning because I kind of, you know, we went on our trip and, um, I kind of got lazy. <laughs> but I got to do some more uh, deep cleaning kind of stuff just to get caught up. I got to clean the microwave because Devin cooked some noodles in there. He cleaned it after it exploded everywhere. <laughs> but it still stinks horribly of these weird um, Korean noodles that he was cooking. And it had the whole house stunk up that one day. But I got the smell out of the house. But now the microwave, every time you use it, it just smells like those noodles. And we're actually thinking about getting a new one. You can kind of see it's in there. Devin's dad gave that to us um, when we moved here. We actually used it when we lived with his dad. We had it in our room because we were in a, like a, a separate building. Uh, it was like a, you know, like a, it's basically like a, you know, those she sheds. But it was, you know, insulated and all that so that people could stain it. But um, half the buttons on it don't work anymore. So uh, we need to get a new microwave anyway. So I'm going to look at them at Walmart tomorrow when I go to see if there's um, a, a decent one that's not crazy expensive to get because um that one stinks <laughs> and it needs to go in the garbage because i don't you know we can't really donate it because it's half of the you know half of the controls don't work anymore but um yeah anyways that was a long ex explanation about that just as in living room watching tv uh we went to the post office this morning i had to mail some orders i got some mail and then I had to go to Sam's Club to get some mailers for my orders because <laughs> I didn't have enough here. So I went ahead and went there and got a big pack of them because I know I'll need more eventually. So might as well go ahead and get a big pack. <laughs> but I'm going to show you guys some mail that I got. And um, I'm going to show you a few things that I got together for the Secret Santa. I can show you because no one, the person who's getting it doesn't know that they're getting it for me. Yeah, hold on a second. He wants to play a play dog. I'll go get it for him. All right, come back. I need him to play it on and get it open for him. Well, we don't have any of those, okay? They're cute, though. Yeah, they are cute. Alright, so I got some mail today. I got a Christmas card from Tennessee. <laughs> and her name is Darlene from Tennessee. Hmm, I wonder how close that is to me. <laughs> Anyways, she's sent me a Santa. He's got a puppy. He's reading his list. Just happy holidays. So cute. Thank you, darling. <laughs> In the back's like a little tiny version of it. Over there. Just gonna hang that up now. All right, and then I got another package. I was expecting a package today, but actually the one I was expecting today got delayed, and it's gonna come tomorrow. But I got a package anyways, and it's from another country, so I wasn't really expecting it. I didn't know it was coming because it doesn't have tracking on uh, cross country ones. But, uh, and I'm not going to say the person's name who sent this because they've sent me something before and asked me not to say who they are. So I'm going to keep not saying who they are. But this is the card they sent me. And it says that they're experts only. Yeah. It's like a big heel. <laughs> and, uh, and then in the little package, this is the box that it came in. Really cute. It was wrapped in paper, which is in the car because I opened it in the car. Just a cute little box, which I'm going to reuse, <laughs> of course. And actually, I might reuse that for my um, swap that I'm doing. But she sent me this little thing, and it's it's like uh, it looks like it looks like Tic Tacs, but it's supposed to be like snowflake, and it, it's got this little saying on it. I'll show you <laughs> the thing first. That's the front of it, and then the back is the little Tic Tacs and, and a uh, baggie. And it says, "Snowflakes from heaven, as white as can be." Can build a snowman for all to see. He's cute and cuddly and full of good wishes and wants to give you a whole bunch of kisses. <laughs> but it's just cute. It's a little, you know, like I've seen them before for um, like reindeer food and uh, different little things. One's like a melted snowman and you put like some pretzels and um, some white candy in there and make it look like, you know, he's melted. But it's just a cute little uh, 
thing. And I think those are Tic Tacs. So the Rhythmic candy things. <laughs> and then she also sent me two of these. These are for Jessie. And these are called, these are their $2 coins up in Canada. <laughs> and they're, she called them um, Toonies. And I think they call their $1 coins like onesies or something like that. I've heard it before. But they're big chocolate <laughs> coins. Which are really cute. I opened this one because I was just curious to what it looked like and what it smelled like. And it looks just like the imprint. <laughs> but um, I'm definitely going to give this to him a little bit at a time because these are big. Now I can't get it shut. But that's okay. But she sent two of those for Jesse. I might save one of those and put it in his stocking. Because he doesn't even know they exist yet. <laughs> and then she also sent a Christmas ornament. Which I can tell that she's listened to me when I've talked because this is two of my favorite things. One is s'mores are special to us because we used to, uh, in the fall and summer months, we hang out at Devin's dad's house a lot around bonfires and we make s'mores and other is cardinals. I've mentioned a ton of times that I love cardinals. And this is both. It's a Christmas ornament, but it's a little s'more with some cardinals all over him. So I did get the tag. It still had the tag on it. And, well, no, I didn't. Not on the tag. On the bottom of the ornament. <laughs> I will show you. But I did write on the bottom uh, who it came from and the year so that I will remember, you know, in the future. <laughs> uh, so now that I showed it, I can hang it up and I can clip this off. Normally I write it on the tags. Like I got one. We got an ornament at the aquarium the other day when we were in Gatlinburg. And I left the tag on there and I just wrote on the tag. Uh, that it was from our trip from Gatlinburg uh, in November 2019. So that in the future I can remember that that's when we got that ornament. But on this one it has a big base and I just wrote it on the bottom with a sharpie. And so now I will remember who gave this to me and what year it was. And I can hang it up. i got to hang this up higher so Jesse can't get hold of it because it is um, ceramic-y, glassy filling. <laughs> Whatever. I don't want to get it broke. But the little arms are actually little metal pieces which is cool. But yeah, so I'm super excited about that. Thank you to who you are. You know who you are when you see it. <laughs> but uh, I'm, I love this so much. I've seen these little snowmans, like other people collect them. Margaret Erlander actually collects the little uh, marshmallow s'more people. And so she has a bunch of them from one of her old videos. She has a bunch on there. But yeah, so that's the model that I got today. I'm supposed to get a package tomorrow and Friday. They're from the U.S. because they're on my tracking. So I know they're coming. That's that's what I thought this one was until she, the Melody handed it to me and I saw that it was from Canada. And I was like, because I know that they don't track from Canada. So I knew that the other one must have been delayed. So I looked and it was. Anyways, uh, my swap partner for the, um, hold on a second. Okay, I had to turn the TV down. It was pretty loud. <laughs> I got some stuff together for my swap partner from the Secret Santa for Charity event. Event? I said that word. <laughs> but um, I just wanted to share with you guys some stuff. The person who I'm sending this to. It does watch my channel because <laughs> I've seen comments before but um, she doesn't know that I got her so I can share share it and then she'll know when she gets it he's being loud but uh, I'm out of the bags that I made I picked this one to send to her I thought it was nice and neutral and just a Merry Christmas in there I'm going to send her that and then she's going to get the two red dishcloths that I made and I haven't washed them because I don't, you know, I don't know if she has any allergies, so I'll leave the washing to her. She can uh, use the detergent that is, works for her. And then I got a little organza bag from my stash <laughs> from uh, getting them sent to me. With some stitch markers that I made a while ago. I bought these, I think last Christmas season. Because uh, I like sending, around holidays, I like sending stitch markers with my bags. And actually, anyone who ordered bags... Um, Yesterday for my shop, got some of these. I actually ran out of the Christmas um, charms, so I couldn't send them to the person who ordered one today. But anyways, I'm trying to turn around. So that's the side. It's a little pair of mittens, a little snowman that says joy under it, and then uh, like a stocking. And then I just got it on a uh, light bulb clip <laughs> ah! for her. And then I'm going to send her this yarn. Uh, it's Bernat Dippy, Dippity Dots, and it's a blue color. Let's see, does it say the color? Denim. Denim jeans. And, uh, I got some more yarn. I just gotta get it out of the closet. Because I have all the yarn that I set aside for gifting and stuff put in a closet out of my way. So I'm gonna get that out and get some more yarn out of there for her to send. And I want to wrap all this up individually because I think it would be cute. 
So that's why I might reuse this box. I don't know. I might save that for someone. Real life gift. I don't know. Yeah, so that's what I got together for her right now. But I wanna, I'm gonna fill up a um, flat rate box. But I don't, I don't know if it's gonna be an actual flat rate. I don't know. I might have to, uh, cause I got a bunch of boxes right here that I got from the post office, and they're the 12 by 12 ones. I might use one of those to um, send her a gift. But yeah. So uh, that's everything I guess for right now. I did finish that other cloth I was working on. It came out bigger. This is the cobblestone stitch also, just like that red one, it's just a variegated one. And I did go ahead and just use the multicolor as the border just because I didn't want to have to attach any yarn. <laughs> but this this one and this little one that I made, I'm going to keep both of these. i got to get them washed actually now that they're done and woven in. And I did start working last night on a amigurumi. It was Gil, the gnome, or elf, I think he's a gnome, from Karen at... Uh, Happiness, happy, happy. What is her channel name? I don't forget what her channel name is. Y'all yeah, know who she is, but I'll link it below. Anyways, her pattern. She gifted that pattern to me after she released it, and um, I haven't had time to work on it. But I did get his little hat made and one of his legs, <laughs> and I ended up getting a headache last night, so I had to quit crocheting. And uh, so I want to try to work on him and get him done. And I need to take a clip of these two dishcloths before I wrap them up, so that I can show it in my no kitchen episode whenever it comes out. I think that's everything right now, so I'll catch up with you guys a little later on. Hey guys, checking in again. I'm in their bedroom. Ah, trying to get me some clothes laid out for tomorrow. De or Jesse <laughs> is going to go to my mom's tomorrow to stay a night or two. And I already got his stuff packed up and laid out. So now I'm trying to get all my stuff laid out so that I don't have to come in and out of the bedroom in the morning when Je Devin is still sleeping. Well, I can't speak. My phone's dying. <laughs> always but uh yeah today's been a boring boring day i don't know if he's talking to me here in the house <laughs> i did a lot of deep cleaning i was talking about it earlier but i did deep clean the bathroom and the kitchen today like hardcorely <laughs> i cleaned the baseboards and the walls even around like the garbage can and the dishwasher where stuff splatters sometimes <laughs> and um cleaned the bathroom real good mopped swept all that jazz did laundry i washed the rugs out everywhere <laughs> So I got all of that done. Tomorrow, since Jesse won't be here, uh, I'm gonna do some shopping tomorrow. Um, and I'll try to remember to film a little, take y'all with me. And I, I might get into here and clean, deep clean it, cause stuff kind of piles up on the yarn shelves that's over here. Uh huh. And uh, I need to clean it. I'd like to get into my material tomorrow and maybe try to find some pieces to start making bags with. I don't know figure it out but I wanted to hop on here I'm gonna go in there after I get my, my clothes for tomorrow picked out and laid out I'm going to go in there and work on Gil from Karen at happiness is homemade <laughs> I forgot her channel name earlier but then I remembered it and uh, I know who she is I just forgot <laughs> and it's hard to remember all these um, channels when there's so many of them and they all kind of blend the channel names blend together so you remember the person you just don't remember the exact name <laughs> But, um, I'm gonna go work on that little gnome, because I want to get him done. There's Jesse. Come here, you want to say hi? Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Are you playing a game? Yeah, but it, I didn't turn into Sonic. Mm -hmm. I'm just only white. Are you only a white Sonic? Mm-hmm. Well, go play. Mommy be there in just a second, okay? I can't turn into Sonic. I'll help you. <laughs> He's playing Roblox, which is kind of like Minecraft. But, uh, I'm gonna go in there and work on Gil and maybe find something else to work on and I'll see you guys tomorrow.